What an unlikely business model. Crazy little gondola. But it was good. Pictures. I've never seen a prawn as long as a man's arm. Well, I think the, the, the part about them going through all those canals is people see the tuna boats. Like, I had no idea that they only really skim across the bottom. And, and when Fred was explaining it to us, we, we got the full understanding of how those boats work. We also have, uh, just down here, in front of us, you'll see these boats like the one directly ahead of us, and they're all our prawn trawlers. We have the best managed prawn, prawn fishery in the whole world that operates in the Spencer Gulf. He's an absolute icon of, of Port Lincoln. He's passionate about it. He hasn't lived there all his life. He sort of fell into Port Lincoln through his love of surfing and diving. And what better spot to go? You do happen to surf with some of the biggest sharks in the world, but you know, he's still alive. I think Puglisi's got a pretty fine outfit. For me personally, having worked on a lot of botley lines and an understanding, at least from a wine point of view, how important precision and timing is in production, those guys are all over it. We'll take the harvested mussels in bulker bags, we'll bring them into our facility, we'll bring them into the infeed. To a hopper at our infeed, the mussels will run up a conveyor belt into a machine that we call a de-bitter or a de-bisser. From there, the cleaned mussels will move onto our grading table where cracked or broken mussels are removed and discarded to waste. It leaves a clean, graded, sorted mussel which will then move through our thermoforming machine that we know, know as the Multivac or R240. From there, the mussels will be put into one or two kilo cryovac packets and sealed up, ready to be the final product. You talk about fast food, that's the biz. That was really cool. And I had no idea that they hadn't been frozen in any shape or form. They are down to five degrees and kept there for basically all of the processing. Cryovac, essentially, in their natural water and shipped off and then you purchase them. You add them to your broth and boil them up for literally between one and three minutes and they're done. It's a quick, as Marie just said, it's the quickest fast food you'll ever find in your life. Ventured out and then went and saw our good friend Chris Bundy at uh, Del Giorno's. I've known Chris probably going back now for maybe 15 years. He's a local guy, been a chef in Adelaide at a prominent restaurant there. I eventually moved back to Port Lincoln. Del Giorno's was opened in 2000 and I came along in 2002. My wife and I purchased the restaurant. We changed a few things and built up the food, built up the fresh produce, introduced lots of new dishes and went from there. But we've used a lot of local produce. We get access to great seafood right from our doorstep and lamb products, pork products, everything from our peninsula we try and source locally and then we match that with wines. We've got local wines here but we've got great wines in Adelaide Hills such as Satan Scholar which we've had on the list for the last couple of years. We run with the Pinot Gris and we've also got uh, the Pinot Noir and the Sparkling. Works really well with our dishes that we create and we've got a wonderful group of chefs in the kitchen that create great dishes.